engineering team's mission is to provide the fastest race car possible. It's a pretty simple goal, but it's incredibly difficult to pull off. Auto racing uh, presents a real collection of design challenges. You know, the car is uh, running at high speeds, very close to the ground. There's a ton of uh, vibration transmitted through the, the whole structure of the car. If we go to one of the bigger ovals, we'll see upwards of 5Gs in the corner lateral, combined, depending on the banking, uh, significant vertical loading as well. All the sensors and connectors have to live in that type of environment. The whole time on the track, the car is ingesting dirt and tire debris, hot dog wrappers from the fans. The cars come back and had birds inside it. So it has to be pretty stout to put up with all that stuff. Typically, the car runs at, at 100 degrees or more. You know, the engine's turning at 12,000 RPM. There's a lot of vibration, you know, through the car for, from that. The racetrack is not, not as smooth as one might imagine. We have hundreds of TE connectors throughout the car. They're the industry standard. The reason for using TE connectors is that the environment that we're working in is quite harsh. So the connectors that they supply are, are lightweight and durable. The connectors go through the full series of testing to make sure that they withstand the vibration, heat, and nasty substances like fuel, oil, brake cleaner, and other things that the pit lane uses. We also use the test lab to help us out when teams have any difficulties. The connectors can come back to us and the same team can evaluate what those connectors have seen and help advise the team in the future. You know, always pushing, always being at the limit, every lap running at the limit, uh, putting all the stress through the race car, you know, you have a lot of trust between you and your engineer because at the end of the day, he's going to try to do the best for you. And yeah, it becomes a really good, you know, an important relationship.